Canberra is Australia's bush capital, a small city with a leafy landscape. People often think it's a place populated with middle-aged bureaucrats, but one in seven people who call the ACT home are over 65, and for many, social isolation is a problem. Tasmania's northwest coast is an even older population, where one in five people are over the age of 65. It's a place of beaches and small communities, but its distance from major centres means accessing healthcare and the cost of transport can be an issue. Maria and Peter Haywood live in the northwest Tasmanian town of Olverston. They worked until they were in their mid-60s and are now on the age pension. It's become so hard to make ends meet, Peter has picked up work as a farm labourer. Literally short of money. They give it to us in one hand and take it away in another because of price rises and what have you. And how, how can any pensioner survive it is beyond me. The couple run a small car but can't afford to fully insure it and petrol prices continue to rise. I can see the times coming where a lot of people are going to ride their bikes into town. When it comes to shopping for food, they're choosy. Hubby probably wants a chop or a piece of steak and looks at the price and, and comes home with a packet of sausages. Maria and Peter Haywood live in social housing, where rent is based on income. And while the federal government recently announced a $250 one-off cost of living payment for pensioners, the Haywoods aren't convinced more will be done to improve the lot of those living on the pension. They forget about the pensioners. Why? They're the people that's been the taxpayers that's kept the government going. In Canberra, Maggie Hawes receives the age pension but tops it up with superannuation and she owns her own home. Incredibly lucky. There are just so many people out there doing it so hard. But isolation, especially during the pandemic, has been an issue. The 77-year-old keeps her mental health in check by maintaining social connections. To me, it's vitally important. I'd never survive on my own. I'd be hopeless. I wasn't too good during lockdown. <laughs> She's joined a gymnastics club for over 50s and trains a couple of times a week. They amaze me every week and when I think that I've pushed them, they ask for more. More than 60% of Australians over 65 rely on the pension. The fortnightly rate for singles has recently gone up $20 and for couples there's been a $15 increase, the biggest boost in almost a decade. I think people that have only got the pension, $20 isn't going to go that far. They might be grateful for it, but really? Recent figures show those on the age pension have been hardest hit by cost of living increases. For working households, living costs have gone up 2.6%. For those on the age pension, it's risen 3.4%. That financial strain has been recognised by a group of volunteers in northern Tasmania. At a country town hall at Wagina, they've come up with a practical way to help. Being on the age pension is difficult at the best of times and there are additional costs with, uh, with COVID. The group has raised money to buy masks, sanitizer and other essentials and are distributing the packs to elderly Tasmanians. People are so grateful and it's absolutely beautiful for people to know that they have the support of the community. When you're struggling, it's the contributions of others that can help you get by. Olwen Ann Cook lives just over the border from Canberra in Queanbeyan. She can attest to the benefits of giving back. It is the feeling that you are being useful, that you're helping people, and I'm sure that's what we were put on this earth for. The 80-year-old volunteers four times a week. 
On Mondays, you'll find her at this church-run drop-in centre. One of my loves in life is cooking, and I just love going there and just making a meal that other people appreciate. Oh, when Anne says she knows a lot of people in her age group aren't physically able to lend a hand and hopes their needs won't be forgotten. I hear what people are saying. The seniors sometimes feel neglected. Her hope is to be of service to others for many more years to come. I wish I was 20 years younger and that because I think living is wonderful.